Welcome to Really Dicey. And today, Manny's going to look at Alien the Role Playing Game by Free League Publishing. Make sure, make sure to stay tuned until the end when Manny will give us his rating. All right, Manny, what do you think? I have to admit, when I first got this, I was intimidated by how big it is. That's a big uh, book. It's 300, <laughs> yeah, it's about 330 pages. Um, I thought this, this would take me weeks to read, but I'll be, I read this in a day. It's actually wow. uh, uh, one of the easiest role-playing games I've ever read. Uh, the rule system is, is, as, is pretty basic. It's just, it's just very quick to make characters. It's just you just pick a job. And then you have uh, uh, your, your skills, there's about 12 of them available. You have your attributes uh, and, and one talent. And it's a point, it's a point system. So you'll get like about a certain amount of points where you distribute mm -hmm. around your attributes, distribute around the skills that you want to pick out. This is a, co a, co a combination of a player's handbook and a game master's guide. So you have okay. everything you want in those pages. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's, um, you, it has everything. It has uh, ships, uh, land vehicles, weapons, um, of course, alien. <laughs> <laughs> aliens, aliens, um, but they also have other creatures as well. But uh, it does a good job of kind of explaining in good detail about the, the xenomorphs and their progression as they mature, the, the alien mother. This okay. comes across as, as made for people that have either never role played before and maybe they want to try survival horror for the first time. You know, um, if you have friends that you kind of want to convince them to play your Call of Cthulhu campaign, but, oh, so many rules, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, maybe playing this might get them excited about it, but it's a good, fun survival horror. Um, okay. It's, 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 I think for the, for the, for the amount of information you get um, and the way the information is laid out and explained, it's a really good buy. It, they encourage you to buy the dice special right. dice that come with it but you don't need it you just need a, a bunch of d6s um my advice is to separate the base dice from the stress dice uh ah, to explain stress little, dice. yeah yeah so again it's again everything's very very simple even the the combat uh scenarios or skill checks and things like that so you just you whatever number you have in your attributes and your skills you sort of add it together let's say i'm trying to work on um some sort of heavy machinery. Um, I'll probably say combine strength with that skill and you may get like six dice and you just roll. And if you roll at least one six, you succeed. If you roll mm. more than one six, you succeed, but maybe something fancy or cinematic may happen as well. Those um, are tough odds. If you, yeah, yeah. So you, you kind of want to be careful a little bit. Um, if, if you don't make the roll, you can... Um, what they call push the roll, mm. which means you could roll it again and get an extra dice, a stress mm. dice with uh -huh. it as well. And okay. what it does is that it gives you a chance that if you roll, roll more sixes, but if you roll a one on a stress dice, you start panicking and that's when things get bad. <laughs> ah. you know, uh, a lot of, lot of uh, they have a really good chart system for, for panic attacks, um, for trauma, for death, what type of death, <laughs> how you die, <laughs> um, you know. So I, again, it's 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 a very simple system. So let's say you and I are are battling each other out. Let's say we're both Marines and we're trying to we're have a big disagreement. Uh, okay. We both roll our our dice, and if I have more successes or more sixes than you do, then I win. Same vice versa. <laughs> if you have more sixes, then uh, I die, or I you beat me up, or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right. You know, so so again, it's a it's a simple system. Um, they okay. also come. They also advise to get the cards as well. Um, All right. So initiative is done very oddly here. Very simple. You just you have a, like a, a set of like ten cards, one numbered one to ten. You kind of shuffle it a little bit, and then you just kind of like draw randomly, and whatever number you get, if you get the lowest, you go first. Where has the lowest? Oh, okay. First? I see. Yeah. You know, so it, that's very simple. It also has like a character cards it has uh weapons stats it has a uh, 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 vehicle stats as well with of course with pictures um uh, it's a it's to me it's like if i need to play something right away just get the dice get this get the book and you, i just give you a random character like hey that's your character let's play uh, okay since since reading and getting into like uh and studying role-playing games and role-playing manuals uh this is one of the easiest and probably 
one of the most uh, fun I had uh, doing a review for. Oh, okay, great. How much replayability does it have? I, 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 uh, I'm kind of worried about how long you can keep this up. How many times can you play this game? Can you run a campaign? See, I think the writers had that in mind as well. They gave you two options. They explained to you rules to do. Uh, by the way, what's interesting is that they don't call game masters game masters. They call them game mothers, which I thought was pretty, pretty. Mother, clever. you um, bitch! Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> um, so your players the, um, can yell at you. That's uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> So there's, there's, there's rules for doing a, a campaign, a long campaign, and there's rules to do just what they call cinematic play. This is one shots. Okay. Um, yep. And uh, again, it's, 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 it's survival horror. So it's not really meant in my opinion for it to last a long time, unless you have a very special group to play with. Uh, honestly, for myself, this is a great game I would play like on Halloween for special sessions. Okay. Um, kind of like, uh, like, like how many times can you bring out, like I love Betrayal of the House on the Haunted Hill. Uh, right. For me, the most I play that during the year is maybe five times a year. You know, you just okay. got to wait for that certain group to come together so you can play it. And that's how I see this, uh, where, like, I think we have the right group and it's, like, the right moment and everyone's inspired to play. Just bring this out. It's, it's, it's quick to set up and you just play right there. What are its stats? Three to 18. What, do you, what would you give this? I will give this, let's see, a strength roll of, I will say, 15. Okay. You know, uh, yeah. it's a it's a it's a good solid game. Um, uh, Information is laid out uh, 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 nicely. It's if you're if you're into Alien, no, no, this is more maybe an eighteen for you. You know, if okay. I think for the casual role player, for for myself, honestly, it's more fifteen. It's something that I'll play maybe once every blue moon, and when I play, it's going to be fun, um, and it's going to be uh, cinematic. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. Great. A, uh, a survival horror game in space as the aliens creep up and grab you. Excellent. Well, thanks for watching. Um, and you can like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.